What is going on everybody, Weedle Twin Needle here, and we are back again with another Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. And today we're using a lovely meme team because I don't want to use standard stuff in Sword and Shield. I know y'all see a Toxbox on my team, but do I care? No. No, because I have to use one to keep check all these broken offensive Pokemon that I'm probably going to run into eventually. And we're going to choose the, uh... Battle Tower theme because that's a bop right here, and I'm gonna get right into team preview because you guys are probably gonna leave the lobby if I take too long. So we're facing a Japanese player today, and uh, okay, let's see what my opponent has on their team. Oh, you, you seem, seem to, to be, be having, having fun. fun. So uh, my opponent's team is terrifying. He has Galar, Darmanitan, Rotom, Ferrothorn, Titar. Gyarados and Excadrill, so my opponent is having as much fun as humanly possible on his team. Uh, I don't really know what to lead with here. I am very scared. So, lead, potential leads, probably Rotom Wash or the Galar Darmanitan. So, to combat that, I kind of just want to lead off with Surfash because Surfash can bop something with a choice band in close combat. So, I just want to use that as a lead. Um, and we're just going to put. Oh my god. I wish it would just automatically put the rest of your Pokemon in, in selection because there's no Zoroark anymore, so there's like no need to like order your team. But it's okay. We're gonna hop right into this battle right here. My opponent is waiting for me. He's not really using his brain, so I'm sure he made his lead matchup in five seconds. So um, okay, and wow, my opponent looks very upset, probably because he's using such a try-hard, disgusting team, and you feel gross about yourself. But it's all good. I mean, winning is fun, so I can definitely understand why my opponent is using such a very fun team. So my opponent's going to lead off with, uh, Galar Darmanitan. Okay, starting it off strong. I can respect that. I'm going to lead off with it is Ma'am, because Surfesh is always called Sir and not Ma'am, so obviously it triggers them. I don't really have a switch into this mon. Um, my switch in is Toxapex, and, but if he reads that, I'm so, like, boned. But we're going to just hard switch into Weedle. Because I ha this is my counterplay to Galar Dimanathan, so I have Eject Button Weedle. Now the reason why Toxapex is named Weedle is because Toxapex is Toxic AF, and it's also gay, so it just fits Weedle uh, very, very well. The name is very fitting for Toxapex and Icicle Crash. We should be able to tank that very nicely, and was that a crit? Please tell me that was a crit. Oh no, that's just Galar Dimanathan being very balanced. Okay, very cool Game Freak. So we're going to Eject Button out, get all that Regenerator, and now we get to pivot into the counterplay, the best trap. Now my Dugtrio is actually Adamant Choice Scarf, and with Stone Edge, I should be able to knock out Darmanitan unless he goes for the Dynamax stuff. So we're just gonna go for the Stone Edge right here and pray to God that we hit Stone Edge. Miss, you cannot be for real. Oh my God, you for real. Just what we needed. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> All right, so down goes my Dugtrio. But since he is uh, definitely Gorilla Tactics, we can just bring back out Toxapex. And we know for sure he's switching out, right? Like, there's just no doubt in my mind he's switching out. So, um, I'm pretty sure he's going to switch out where he's going to Dynamax and go for, like, Max Quake or something. But I highly doubt he's going to use his Dynamax on Darmanitan. So, uh, let me see what he has on his team real quick, because I don't have the best memory. So, he's likely to bring in Rotom Wash right here. Or maybe Ferrothorn? Like, I'm not too entirely sure. Something to switch into Skull, so I'm thinking either Rotom Wash or Ferrothorn. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually going to pull a double switch into my... Should I bring in Excelcore or It's Ma'am? I'm actually going to bring in It's Ma'am because I'm expecting my opponent to double switch right here. Or switch out. So yeah, it is. he does switch out, which tells me he definitely is Gorilla Tactics. And he's going to bring out the Rotom Wash. Okay, so he made a really good play there. And he's actually shiny Rotom Wash. Very, very cool. And we're going to hard switch out right here and bring out my It's Ma'am, the Surfest. And he can't actually Volt Switch. I mean, hit me for super effective damage. So this is actually really good for us. I'm actually going to fire off a Close Combat right here. And Close Combat should just, like, do a bajillion damage to Rotom. Like, I don't think Rotom can live CC. Like, I just don't think I can live CC. So we're going to go for Close Combat right here. We're Choice Banded and it lived. Okay, I stand corrected. And he's probably going to Will-O-Wisp me, but that's actually fine. We do need this for the Aferathorn, but we should be fine. It actually goes for Volt Switch. Okay, and that does do a butt ton of damage because the defense drops. That's fine. And now he's going to bring out... I wonder who he's going to bring out. Uh, probably not Tyranitar, not Ferrothorn, maybe Darm again. I'm not too sure, actually. Let's see what he brings out. So he's going to bring out, I think that's Darmanitan. Yeah, but Darmanitan brings back out the Brainless Pokemon. 
and I am so terrified of this Pokemon. I don't have a switch in. Uh, <laughs> I'll just bring in my Tox effects again. Like, it's just my only play. Um, if he goes for Earthquake, I'm actually screwed. Man, why did I miss my Stone Edge? I hate this game. I really do. I just can't get any luck in these Sword and Shield battles, man. This gen is just not for me. So he actually U-turns out, makes the right play, projecting me to switch out. I know he's going to U-turn out. And who's, who's you think he's going to bring in? Uh, I wonder. Uh, probably Rotom again to Pain Split. Uh, that's Ferrothorn. Okay, brings in Ferrothorn. He's obviously going to go for Entry Hazards because that's what all the Brainless players do. So we're going to pull a Heart Switch into my Excelgore because we do have that lovely, lovely move we just love on the Weedle to Needle channel. You guys already know what it is. We're going to bring in Accelerate, the legit Shiny Excelgore I got in a raid battle that, you know, I posted my legit Shiny reaction on my channel. I think it's in my previous video, so if you want to check that out, feel free. And he does go for the Brainless Entry Hazards. So now we can just go for the Encore Y and just pray that he doesn't read it because if he does, I'm totally boned. And thankfully, he just goes for the, uh, I assume, the Gyro Ball. So we're going to Encore him and lock him into Stealth Rock. So now we do have some offensive momentum for the first time in this game, which is really good for us. And uh, now we can just go for Bug Buzz here because we do have the Throat Spray. Um, he's probably going to sack off the Rotom or bring in Excadrill. That's one of my two guesses. I'm not too sure what he's going to do. So he actually sacks off Rotom. That's a really smart play on his part. I was also expecting Gyarados to potentially come in, but a Gyarados doesn't really appreciate these attacks, I don't think. So we're going to Bug Buzz and just knock out the Rotom, which is really good for us. So down goes the Rotom, which is really, really nice. And now we're going to activate our Throat Spray so we get a special attack boost and we have Unburdened. So um, in this situation, we're actually doing pretty good. I mean, if he brings in Gar Darmantan, that's actually a big mistake because I will outspeed it and knock it out with Focus Blast. Actually, no, I won't because I'll miss, but, you know, it's it's the thought that counts, right? So, um, my opponent's best switch in here is probably Ferrothorn the Gyro Ball me again, or I don't really know what he's going to bring in here. Um, so he's going to bring in his... Oh, he brings in Gyarados. He's going for the win right now. Okay, I see you, girl. I see you. So, I'm just going to go for the Energy Ball that should do a decent chunk of damage. That should do some decent damage. So I'm going to go for the Energy Ball, which should do okay damage. And that did a lot, actually. Okay, we take that. As he's going to go for a DD. Okay, so um, I can actually Encore him into Dragon Dance because of Unburdened. So this is actually really good for us. So I can just go for Encore again, bro. Like, what are you doing? What is you doing, boy? What is you doing? Oh, Dynamax. Dynamax is so stupid. You could just... It's okay. So he's going to Dynamax his Gyarados and completely outplay my Encore. So, um, <laughs> uh, I should have just clicked Energy Ball again. That was so dumb of me. Uh, I choked. No, but we're going to Encore him and it's going to fail and he's going to go for Max Airstream and yeah, goodbye Exalcore. <laughs> oh man, Gyarados is a very balanced Pokemon. So he's going to get a speed boost. And he's going to get a Moxie boost because of Gyarados being a very balanced Pokemon in this format. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So what is my counterplay to this mod? <laughs> what is my counterplay? I guess Toxapex, right? Toxapex is my best counterplay. I can haze. I can try to haze. But is it going to work? I, I, I don't know. We're going to pray that it works. But it's probably not after rocks. I'm probably going to die if he is Earthquake. But if he's Power Whip, we might be able to live. So we're going to go for Haze right here and just hope for the best. We're just going to hope for the best as he is actually Max Quake. Come on. Live, Pax. You're gay. You're gay. No, you're not gay enough. And we got swept by Gyarados. Yay. <laughs> we love Dynamax on the Weedle to Needle channel. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to complain. I'm just trying to have some fun with this battle because I stand no chance. But hey, we're still having fun. So at this point, I just get swept. I get my I get my cheeks clapped by this Gyarados. But it's all good. It's all good. We, we appreciate getting our cheeks clapped by Gyarados. We're going to bring in Trans Rates right here. And we're going to trace the Moxie. And unfortunately for Gardevoir, uh, it doesn't even matter what happens. I'm just going to go for the Endor and just like pray. <laughs> We're just, we gotta pray, guys. We gotta pray. Uh, we're just, we gotta pray. That's all there is to it. So, we're gonna go for the Endure right here. 
to stall out a Dynamax turn. Not, not that that matters at all. Like, he's already set up to sweep, and he's just gonna go for Max Airstream. I'm surprised he didn't go for the Water Wound to set up Rain, but I guess he doesn't even have to because he just auto wins. So, yeah, we're gonna Endure, and he's gonna get another Speed Boost, and we're gonna Nom Nom on our Selac Berry. It's such a shame that Gardevoir, Lightning Gardevoir, or not even Lightning Gardevoir, Simple Gardevoir couldn't do anything in this game, but that's to be expected when you're facing a god like Gyarados like this, so. Uh, yeah, we got our Selac Berry, but at this point, we're just, like, absolutely boned. I was just trying to stall out the Dynamax, because I do have, uh, I do have my, uh, whatchamacallit, I still have my Surfetch to hit it, and I do have Sucker Punch on my, on my Grimmsnarl. That's the Pokemon's name, I'm sorry, I'm still learning these Pokemon's names, even though I train them up myself. We gotta sack off Surfetch. So, I'm just gonna Simple Beam, because <laughs> I can't do anything else right now, so, yeah, and he's just gonna go for Waterfall, and, okay. This is really bad for us. We are so screwed. My Grimmsnarl literally has to get five kills in a row, and is that actually gonna happen? No, but at least we get to assert our dominance with my edgy fursona, my Grimmsnarl, and this set is literally a meme and a half, but power swap, let's do it. I didn't check how many boosts he had, I should have done that. Um, and my opponent's probably like, haha, GG easy, my team's so good, but nope. nope. Take this power swap, son, and uh, power swap's gonna give us all those attack boosts. And now he's gonna go for waterfall. Please don't crit me, Grimmsnarl, live this, please, as we live, yes! I can go for sucker punch right here. How many attack boosts do we have right now? Oh, how do I check again? This. Oh, we're at plus five, okay. Okay, I wish I had Moxie right now, but we don't. But we don't. We're gonna go for Sucker Punch right here and hope for the best. Uh, and hopefully we just knock out this Gyarados as it failed. Did he go for DD? Oh, we went for DD again. I don't want to play these games. Oh my gosh, this guy is trying so hard. Just let me kill your Gyarados. Okay, well, I know what? I'm not playing these games. We're going for Metronome. I know he's gonna go for DD again. I'm not that stupid. Um, I'm gonna go for Metronome. Let's get the RNG. Let's get it. Rock Throw! That's, that's what I'm talking about! Woo! So Rock Throw's gonna knock out the Gyarados. <laughs> rock Throw. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love Metronome way too much. It's so such a funny move. You know, he's gonna bring out... Uh, what's this one? Bring some T-Tar. Wait a minute. Am I faster than this thing? I really hope so, but I doubt it. My Grimmsnarl has some speed EVs, but I don't think it's enough to outspeed a T-Tar. <laughs> but we're gonna try our damn best. And we actually outspeed. No way. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that was a nice squeak. I'm sorry. Okay, so Grimmsnarl just bodied that T-Tar. Goodbye. Oh, crap. <laughs> Oh my god, my opponent's probably so mad right now. Holy crap, that's so funny. Alright, so who's he gonna bring out now? Your Excadrill? Excadrill's not gonna do crap. He brings in Ferrothorn. Okay. Um, does Drain Punch even kill this? I'm at plus five. Should I go for Metronome? Like, what should I do? I'm gonna Drain Punch. I'm not gonna choke, even though I want to. I really want to, but I can't bring myself to do it. So Drain Punch... Knocks out Ferrothorn. Oh my god. Are we gonna reverse sweep this guy? Are we gonna reverse sweep this guy? Oh my god. <laughs> Holy crap. My opponent's actually gonna get reverse swept because all he has left is, I think, Excadrill and Darmanitan, right? If I remember his team correctly. Uh, what's that? I think that's Darmanitan. Oh no, that's Excadrill. Okay, and I can just sucker punch that. I can just sucker punch you, bro. Like, what are you gonna do? What you gonna do, bro? Sword stance? Like, that's not gonna save you. Like, I have plenty of sucker punches to go around. That's right. Take that sucker punch. Please don't be Sash. Oh, I got so scared he was Sash. Oh, I got so scared. Whew. All right. And now his last is Darm, and he just can't do anything. He just dies to sucker punch. So I think that's GG, guys. I think we just reverse sweep him. I think we just reverse sweep him, boys. <laughs> No way! He DC'd on me! <laughs> okay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that battle. Holy crap. 
Oh, you DC on me. I'm dead. Be sure to leave a like for that rage quit. That was beautiful. Grimmsnarl has the biggest dick. It's my new husband. Goodbye, Incineroar. Grimmsnarl is my new hubby. Thank you guys for watching. I'll check you guys next time.